it's only fitting that my 500th life bird was the five striped sparrow because I'm keeping it 100 five times over. But it ain't about how fast I get there. It ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. And the climb to 500 species was truly incredible. Hit the music. Break it down! And the climb to 600 starts right now, here on the Anza Trail in Tubac, Arizona, Santa Cruz County. So what's our target for the today here, Mike Tafina? Rose-throated Bacard. Beckard. Beakard. I don't know what. I don't know. I'm into it, though. I want it, and we're getting it. Done. It's going to be a lifer for me, so let's do it. So the rose-throated Bacard is a species that nests in Mexico on a regular basis, but every now and then will peek its way into Arizona for nesting. And right now, we're in pursuit of the rose-throated Bacard nest. Already a very interesting journey for the bird. Common ground dove walking on the trail. Gosh, so small. Dude, here it comes, look! <laughs> look at this train! Yeah! Yeah! He's honking the horn for me! Yeah! We're on our way to the rose-throated Picard spot, actually quite close, and I'm just elated by this train. Look at this! Wow! What a train! Wow! All right, All right George. We're on our way down to the spot. Any predictions here? Oh, we'll get it. No problems. No well, problems, but we'll get it. We're following GPS coordinates to the rose-throated Picard nest, and there's literally no trail. So my question is, who finds this stuff? All right, we're almost there. We've just passed under a landmark, the two previously occupied nests. Yeah, it's a massive nest for the size of the bird. Really surprising, cool to see. Hartshorn, you just had the bird? Yeah, male. I uh, heard the down slurred whistle and then saw the male with the rose on the on the neck, pretty sweet. Awesome, well that means even in the rain, I gotta get the big dog out. Now Tafina's on the bird. Rose-throated Bacard, baby. Oh, look at that. We it's did it. Wing. Wow. Even got to watch it snack on a dragonfly. Wow, what a bird. George, you called it. Called what, the bird? Yeah, you said we were gonna get it and we did. And I was right, as usually. I'll tell you what, that was great teamwork. And we even picked up two friends here, Andrew and Kathy from Tucson. Hey! hey it was fun. Male summer tanager. Tony, man, you did some great work helping us get that rose throated Picard. What do you have to say for it? Well, you know, there's always going to be another mountain. You're always going to want to make a move. Always going to be an uphill battle. Sometimes you have to lose. But we won. This yeah. Time. Yellow breasted chat. Wow. How do I keep my camera gear dry in the, the big dog, in a dry bag, in the bag, with a rain cover? Got to keep the gear safe after all. Entering hour 10 on our third day of birding here as we circle back to Box Canyon. Shorty and I out here with our great fashion. Do you think we could look like a couple of French Bulldogs or something? So what? What are you looking at? It's all in the name of great sun protection. And I'll tell you what, conditions this morning were way different than conditions right now. And both the temperature and the birding action is heating up. Red-tailed hawk perched very, very high atop this ridge on that rock. Pretty distant, but a very awesome Loggerhead Shrike perched on a wire right on the edge of the road. Move! Uh, close to the edge. 23 hours later, and we're back here at the same spot from yesterday, Box Canyon, just because the place is so sweet. Just like Sweet Chin Music, baby. Just like us. Days of birding like this are so awesome. I just wish that the sun would never set so that we could just keep birding and then just drop and then we'll be done birding. So just picked up a young Costas hummingbird. Check out this great video I shot of it and also the entertaining commentary of how to locate the bird for those who couldn't see it. Far right, far right, right similar thing. Look at the top of it. Oh, I see it. You mean the white thing thing to the left of the celery thing? The celery, the, the, big, the big celery thing. 
Looking right at him. Here. Hey, we're not botanists, okay? I'm not sure what some of this stuff is out here, all right? Celery Calm thing. down. The celery thing looks kind of delicious as well. Cassin's kingbird here with the sunset. Ooh, a second Cassin's kingbird. Five striped sparrow. So good to see my 500th friend once again. And at least this time he posed with the camera, although he did have his back to it. Going 360 degrees here in Box Canyon. George, any thoughts on two sold out nights here in Box Canyon in a row? Yeah. Main thought, uh, Prairie Falcon earlier, uh, haven't had one for 15 years. Oh, that matters up here. Uh, just the most beautiful place in Arizona. How about some celestial bodies with VQ? Check out Venus. The scope is so zoomed in right now that we can actually observe the Earth's rotation as Venus moves across the screen of the phone here. The moon. Right now, the scope is zoomed in all the way to 60 times power. I'm using the two times optical zoom lens on the iPhone. And although my scope is a little dirty, with a couple of spots, getting really killer views. And an incredible sunset. And that was Celestial Bodies with BQ. And we wrap that up just in time, because as the sun is setting, we have our presumed final lifer of the day singing right now down the ridge. Calm and poor will. Listen for the two note. And we retire once again after a long day. Not because we want to, but because we have to. But I still have one question for all y'all. Who's having fun?